Sorry to keep you waiting. I found my resolve. This time, I will get you. When you count, don't let him cut you. When you attack him, kill! Was that just now? <laughs> what is good, y'all? It's your boy Nerdame here with another figure review. Uh, today we're looking at the Dyson model uh, Ichigo from the series Bleach. Um, this figure, I have been waiting a long time for some type of figure company to actually make a good version of this figure. And um, again, like I mentioned in every video um, I see your guys's comments um, I actually had somebody who commented way back uh, sounded like I've been here for a minute but <laughs> way back um, one of my first reviews or whatever but he was asking if I could do a review of the play out sky uh, Ichigo figure or I'm assuming that's what he meant because at the time that was the only posable bleach figure that was out especially for Ichigo uh, which sucks because the articulation sucked bunch of hard plastic again I said this a thousand times so you guys know how I am about the cloth uh, clothing uh, it definitely enhances the figure and what you can kind of do with it uh, but yeah let's get into it today guys oh and before I get into everything again I want to say thank you for uh, commenting like and subscribing to my IG and to my TikTok as well and even here on YouTube um, oh, uh, one last thing I want to touch on also is the giveaway. So uh, I apologize if I wasn't clear um, on this. I haven't really gotten a lot of people asking me questions, which is good, but just to clarify. Um, so to win, you don't need the most points, but you, um, the more points you get, the better of a chance you have of getting picked in the random giveaway. So, um, you know, the more raffles you get, the better your odds are, um, but again, you're more than welcome to just comment like and subscribe and without a doubt i'll add you to the giveaway i'm going to announce that by the way on march the second uh so just stay tuned uh, so whatever i end up reviewing that week i'll kind of do like a uh a video before announcing who the winner is and uh and maybe i'll even um announce who or what uh the winner wanted or, or chose i guess uh but yeah we'll, we'll see when we get there um let's get into it <laughs> Before I get into uh, reviewing the actual figure, uh, looking at the packaging that it comes in, we got another huge box, barely fits in frame, um, but this is not too bad. Originally, I wasn't expecting much because if you've seen my other reviews of the Dyson model uh, figures, uh, they traditionally come in just a simple box, uh, but this one um, looks maybe deceiving. When you open up the front, like you're opening up a, his, uh, robe or jacket or whatever uh opens up a little screen or um window to see the actual figure which is dope i dig it lots of creativity there uh so keep it up and i think it holds with like a yeah there's a magnet right over here so simple box uh simple packaging um just taking a look at it right quick he's also included with a stand which is actually pretty cool i actually don't mind the stand it's nice and sturdy which is always perfect. So you get a little claw, which is pretty stiff. And then you get two different stand legs or whatever, two different sizes. Um, I'm assuming maybe one is for the sword or if you have another figure or if you're just needing a smaller stand, but the figure's super tall, so I don't know. Um, and then in the packaging, so there's two different slots. Originally, I thought I was maybe missing something out of the package, and maybe I am. Uh, like I mentioned before, I typically don't watch other reviewers, only because I just want, you know, my opinion to be fresh. Um, but there's two different slots, but I only got one little claw. So not sure what that's about. And then the stand that he has uh, is nice and 
high quality. I like it. Um, but it's kind of odd. It's like for Ichigo from Bleach. I'm not sure why I would need a wooden floor, but maybe it's like the mats from, you know, it's like the, I don't know, the Edo era or whatever with samurais and stuff. So you think like hardwood floors. I don't know. I, I might be reaching. I don't know. <laughs> but putting that aside, I actually dig it. I would love to keep this, but this base is definitely OG. Um, and if I am needing a different base, probably gonna have to get something bigger than this. So yeah. Alrighty, let's get into the figure. Taking a closer look at the figure and this dude is dope. Originally, when I first got him in the mail, I wasn't too, um, what, what, my expectations were pretty low, I guess. Um, but actually having him in hand, uh, it's not too bad. I actually think he came out great. Uh, you can even take off the, uh, the rope if you wanted to, I guess. He's not wearing any, um, you got something to say? Uh, huh? no, no, nothing, nothing at all. all. Uh, you know, but <laughs> it still came out great. Uh, it looks like it was even creased out in iron, which is pretty nice. Um, Dyson model has really came along or come a long way. Uh, really hoping to maybe even get some more other uh, figures from the um, the series, or maybe even a um, Bonkai form of Ichigo, or maybe even his other forms that uh, we get in the manga, especially with the anime coming back fairly soon. Um, but yeah, uh, articulation is pretty great. Um, no real hindrance with the outfit, which is perfect. Uh, the only thing I will say that's uh, not that great is the app crunch. Um, I don't know why this is so hard or why it's such a issue getting an app crunch to go on those figures, but you're gonna get about that much, which isn't bad, but you know, leaves a lot more room to be desired. Um, I really dig this, uh, I don't know what you would call this. I don't know if this is where his sword hangs on to or this is just part of the outfit, but it's great. It's like a nice durable plastic, slides right off or slides right on. Um, it sucks that there's no um, articulation with the, uh, what is this? Not the ankle, the uh, toe hinge. There's no toe hinge presented on the figure, which sucks, but I've actually had no issues trying to get him to stand up. So it is what it is. Uh, one other issue that I have is the face plates. They, uh, they peg in fine, uh, just like the regular Dyson model figures. If you haven't seen my reviews, feel free to check them out. Uh, but this slides out all the time, this hair combination on the head for some reason for me. Uh, it's like extremely loose, but you know, it is what it is. I haven't figured out a solution for that, but you know. Uh, one thing I did find a solution for are the wrappings or whatever for his belt. Um, you know, I had to whip out the Gorilla Glue again, uh, just so it's easier to articulate him without this kind of getting in the way. Uh, it kind of flows wherever it wants to because it's just kind of tied on there. But if you get some super glue, just tape it, not tape it, glue it in place. You're not really gonna have any issues. Um, articulation with the arms, not bad. Again, no hindrance. Uh, what is a bit annoying are the cuff links for the figure. Uh, there's like this seam in the inside and sometimes it can stick out um, and not get in the way, but it's extremely noticeable. But if you play around with it a little bit, you can kind of get the arm to go right in front of it to where it kind of hides it. So it's not that big of a deal. But again, just something to mention because you're probably going to be messing with it once you get it. Um, if you've seen some of my photos, I've also taken off the gi at least halfway. Uh, I was just curious to see what it looked like if you had like a battle damage kind of Ichigo. Um, but it tucks right in to his belt. Uh, like I mentioned, it's just a regular belt. So everything's kind of stretchy. So it's easy to just tuck everything back in if you untuck everything. See, so look here. Takes like two seconds. Um, but yeah, not too bad. They really killed it. I'm, I'm really, um, I was really shocked. Like I mentioned, when I saw the comment from one of my videos about doing a review on a bleach figure, I was like, bro, there are no great bleach figures that are out, you know? But this literally came out of nowhere. So pleasantly surprised. I can't wait to see what else they have coming out. Uh, so yeah, 
let's take a look at the accessories taking a look at the accessories and they killed it again with uh, this figure I uh, really am digging these uh, accessories the sword uh, is a bit thinner than I thought it'd be um, maybe just because um, if you've seen my giveaway video um, I'll link that somewhere um, but comparing it to my custom Zabuza sword um, it's a lot thinner um, as far as thickness I guess uh, I'm not throwing any puns out here. I'm just talking. Shut up! <laughs> um, but it's not too bad, which is even crazier too. Uh, this is supposed to be a 112 scale uh, Zabuza sword compared to Ichigo's. I mean, they fit pretty good in scale together. Um, if you've seen some of my photos on my IG, um, I posted photos of Ichigo holding both of these. You can hold them both. It's not too heavy, uh, which is dope. Uh, but this one came out great. I like the little sheen on the edge of the blade and um, You have these wrappings at the end of the uh, blade. I ended up having to use the uh, Gorilla Glue again uh, This is to hold this in place. They had this had slid out on me It just came off at some point and it kind of took me a while to get it back on uh, I'm kind of slow. So maybe that's why it took me a minute to get it back on but I figured you might as well just super glue it on there and might make it easier to keep intact uh, but yeah the next thing I want to talk about is the hollow mask that Ichigo comes with and it's a dope mask it's a little dirty I don't know if that's something that was in the solicitations for the figure I might have to take another look at it but it's kind of odd that it looks like that when I'm pretty sure in the anime the mask is just a flush white like a bone color in certain areas um, but I ended up getting this uh, sticky putty or whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you just put that in there, uh, just stick it to the face, it'll stick right on without any issues. Uh, it sucks that it doesn't peg into the face, but I'm sure that would get in the way of like the look of the figure and everything. So I, I'll take it. This works. Uh, the alternate faces are dope. Uh, one thing that I'm not a fan of, if you see my other reviews, are the faces that look almost exactly the same um, and a couple of these tend to look exactly the same so I wish we could have got some more variations there but it's really not that bad um, and then he's also included with some alternative hands uh, which is cool as well uh, but yeah let's get into a high comparison doing a high comparison here he is compared to my SH figure arts Broly and um, with most figures, he is definitely going to tower over, but uh, with Broly, they actually fit pretty good in scale, which is crazy. Uh, I know anime-wise, Broly should definitely be towering Ichigo even more, um, but yeah, uh, either way, it fits pretty good in scale. Uh, the next one is my custom SH Figure Arts Master Ultra Instinct Goku from Dragon Ball Super. And again, he's going to tower over most figures, uh, so he's definitely going to do that with uh, Goku. Um, but it, it still works, you know, you could always make it work out. Uh, here he is compared to Naruto. <laughs> and this one, uh, I'm not sure if you could figure something out. Um, but yeah, they're not going to really fit great in scale together. Uh, and I originally, you know, like I mentioned with my gripes, uh, I'm not a fan that he was so tall at first. But it's extremely anime accurate. If you look at all the characters from the series, they all have this super tall stature. Um, so yeah. And then here he is compared to my custom Bestly Studio Kakashi. Again, he's gonna tower over this one too, but it really, it is what it is. So yeah. All in all, this is a dope figure. Uh, again, with every figure, he's not perfect. Uh, some of my gripes, just to summarize uh, the height, uh, he's definitely not for a six inch scale, kinda but isn't but is uh, it's weird <laughs> uh the other thing is the um there's no toe hinge um limited amount of accessories but again you know all you could really need outside of which we are getting are like um effect parts um and yeah i mean that, that's really it it's not really a lot of gripes uh, the mask doesn't sit on the face properly unless you have like sticky tack or something like that added on there or like a sticky uh 
whatever this putty, the putty stuff is, whatever that I mentioned earlier. Uh, but yeah, dope figure. Uh, pick them up now before he jumps up in price. I have a feeling he is if they're doing a limited run for this figure, um, but only time will tell. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for the giveaway that is coming up um, at the end of uh, the month. And yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video. Peace.